So let's look at the numbers first. We have a 14, a negative 2, and a 20. What is the greatest number that can go into all three of those? That is a 2. Now let's look at the variables and see if any variable can be part of our GCF. Every term has an X, so that means that it can be part of it. And now remember the shortcut that I said was just take the smallest exponent. So we have X to the 4th. We have x to the seventh and we have x to the invisible one. So that is the smallest one. That is the maximum amount of x's that I can take out as a factor, right? I can't take out any more than that because that third term only has one x there. So I can't take out any more than that. So 2x is my GCF. Again, following that same last step, divide each term by the GCF. So 14x to the fourth divided by 2x is going to give me 7 x to the third. One more time, those division rules for dividing with the same base. Same base, keep the base, subtract the exponents. 4 minus invisible 1 is a 3, right? Next one, to get negative 2 divided by positive 2 is negative 1. x to the seventh divided by x is x to the sixth. And last term, 20 divided by 2 is positive 10. And x Divided by x is just 1, so I don't need it because 10 times 1 would just be 10, right? And a quick check, if we distribute back, 2x times 7x cubed, that's 14. And again, that multiplication rule says I keep the base and add the exponents. 1 plus 3 gives me 4, right? Nice quick check for you. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Keep my x, add my exponents, there's that 7. 2 times 10 is 20. I only have an x to the first, and that's exactly what I had in my original expression.